Hey, this is Elizabeth from Havana in Cuba, and you're watching Fun for Louis. Good afternoon, guys. Me and JP are still in New York. It is a horrible day today, but we are in a good mood because we're about to meet with B&H, the camera store, see over there. You've probably seen my vlogs when I go in there and I'm like a kid in a candy store running around getting equipment. Anyway, we're meeting with them and they're gonna be helping us with the world flight and uh, yeah, just linking us with the right people, showing us the, the right equipment we need to make this movie happen. So uh, yeah, we can't wait to, to show you guys the journey. Alright, here's Michael from B&H. Welcome to rainy New York. Yeah, it's a rainy day, isn't it? How are you feeling today, JP? Good. Yeah. It's been wet. <laughs> Bro, look how you, official you know this company, is. No, you know a company's legit when they present you with this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. This could, be, uh, this could be an exciting partnership, guys. We need cinema quality cameras that can fit in the plane and we're not, you know, they're not like this big. I think there are some that and we could be need perfect. Filmmakers and B &H knows filmmakers. Yeah, filmmakers. We want to take um, classes as well. Me and JP need to learn a bit more about um, recording audio in a good way and what mics we need for the fly. And we need to like rig the cockpit up in a, in a particular way so we can get all the best shots, um, but also we can't weigh the plane down. So there's a lot to think about. And I think these are the guys that help us. And we're doing this Kickstarter to raise money for the movie. Right. And one of the things we want to spend some of that money in is getting a team of other filmmakers or you know, a cameraman, director, to certain points throughout the trip. Uh, and they would probably have you know, the highest end, more bigger cameras and stuff like that, so we don't have to take those on the flight with us. Because we can't, we can't weigh it down with all the big equipment, but maybe there'll be a few locations around the world where we know there's an amazing story, there's going to be something you know, awesome for them to come capture. So we'll fly out additional people to just to kind of improve that production quality, yeah, and get it kind of to the standard that we would be able to show it in cinema in right. cinemas and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. We had a good meeting. We are now popping into the store just before it closes. Right, leave our stuff here. We're gonna go and uh, check out some of the equipment and things we might need. This is always so exciting coming in here. Where should we go first, JP? I think we should go and check out a, a cinematic camera. All these guys here, look at these. So many choices. Can we fit that on the plane? Guys, I've never used a slider in any of my vlogs, but you can get an amazing shots with this. Okay, so this is the Sony FS5. This shoots 120 frames at 4K. Uh, yeah, is that what they said? Yeah. And it's uh, it's lightweight enough for us to take it on the plane. It's gonna be a lot of figuring out with this though. See, I'll never vlog on something this big, but for the uh, for the movie, this is going to be perfect. What lens is on it? Uh, G Master. No. 18 to 105, but this is a cinema lens, so you can zoom using the button. Oh, wow. Or when you zoom, look how smooth it is. We, we might need to get a gimbal like a Ronin or something. This seems to be pretty well, there's, 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 I mean, that camera stripped down is only a pound and a half. It's amazing. The body itself is only a pound and a half. It's wow. ideal for gimbals. You put this monitor yeah. here, here. Or here. If any of you guys have used this camera, I'd love to know what you think of it below. Like, leave a comment if you think this is going to be higher end, high end enough for us to be making movie standards stuff that I could go in cinema. Right, Bill's going to show us some of the mics, but we might not be able to test them right now. Hi. So we're looking at making a a movie, uh -huh. and we want to look at kind of uh, the best mics we could use portably to capture stuff on the... Out in the field? Out in the field, yeah. Out in the field, right, that's the mics yeah. you need, like portable, but the best, the best audio quality. 
Best audio quality right now is probably going to be something like the 416. What's the best portable recorder we can get? So we're looking at, we're making a documentary, so uh -huh. we need something small, compact, on the go. You can look um, at it, two different recorders. I look at the sound devices. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the 633 is up in the $3,000, $3,500 range. So if we're doing interviews and stuff, we'd run the lab mics yeah, through the all, feed would just go all into the recorder. Yeah. You're right, though. Those are mixers and recorders all built into one. Wow, perfect. Everything you see done on television, yeah. they're using a 460. Wow. I notice a little bit of room noise yeah, yeah. coming through. It's picking up the fans off of here. Yeah. And exaggerates, I can kind of tone that down a little. I could also roll off a little bit of the low end on it to get rid of that. So maybe we should look at a lightweight boom pole as well. Well, we'll probably have to get a second person to ask them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound devices, sir. That's as good as it gets. This is the best that one? That is as good as it gets. And as you can see, the price tag reflects it. Yeah. yeah. This is but the mic we need, guys. MKH416. If you look at Les Mis, the movie. One of the big things about that was all the singing and the vocals were shot in real time. And they were wow. shot with the 416. Really? Wow, that's good to know. Industry standard. Industry standard. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Cool. Really nice to meet yeah, you guys. really nice to meet you guys. Thanks again for all the help. No problem, man. We'll be in touch. Yeah. Have a good day, man. See ya. Bye. Bro! Bro, bro, bro. bro. So excited. <laughs> it's so good. Bro, we just jumped in the Uber and we've now arrived at DJI. I've never been there at DJI offices before, so look at that. A wall of propellers, I love it. Picking up the Mavic. Just testing it's all working. Just doing a little flight test. Or I could get this one. What do you think, guys? <laughs> right, we've just finished our last meeting of the day at this place, Mechanism. And um, yeah, we both need to head off soon for our flights. JP's heading off first to Newark, and then I'm going to JFK in like an hour. Do you need a hand with your stuff? Are you good? I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, later, bro. See you in a month. It's been a good. It's been a very good week. See ya. Right. Like I said, I'm gonna be here for another hour, and then I'm heading off too. I'm actually kind of looking forward to getting out of this weather. I'm heading to Kenya via Amsterdam, and uh, I just found out today that. Raya is going to be meeting me in Amsterdam because she's flying from LA so we're going to be reunited after like a month of being apart. It's been a pretty tough month to be honest. I've arrived at the airport. I'm heading to the business class lounge to uh, do a bit more editing. Maybe get some food. I'm pretty hungry. And then I'm flying to Amsterdam and then on to Kenya. So two very long flights. I'm very glad I'm gonna be able to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna get some snacks for the flight. I'm gonna just take a cheeky banana. Maybe a little satsuma. Thank you so much. Hello, good evening. Hello, 71k. 71k is upstairs. Thank, thank you. Upstairs? Upstairs? What? I don't think I've ever been upstairs before. Now look at all this space. Huh. I'm on the flight. I'm heading to Amsterdam. Uh, it's been an amazing week in New York. It was cool to bring Laura out and for me, her and JP to have some cool meetings about lived adventure and about the flight and the movie. It was amazing to meet the, uh, the B&H guys today and start planning some of the practical stuff we're gonna need to happen. 
Um, yeah, super exciting and it's so cool to be able to bring you guys on the journey with us uh, every step of the way. Uh, again, if you haven't already, check out the Kickstarter campaign. We've been adding some new um, perks and some of the new rewards for you guys, uh, especially the, the big arrival celebration weekend in November of this year. So head over, check that out. Um, this next week's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna be meeting Briar tomorrow, reuniting, and, um, and then we're gonna be meeting Jack and Lauren, Do You Travel and Gypsy Lust, and yeah, exploring Kenya, going on an amazing uh, safari trip, and uh, yeah, and then we're heading down to Cape Town and meeting up with the gang. We're gonna be seeing the Live the Adventure offices for the first time. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys those, and uh, yeah. It's just a really exciting time. I'm really happy and uh, yeah, life's good guys, life is good. Thanks for being a part of it with me. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure.